happy Friday. It's Lisa Blaisdell. How are you today? I want to talk to you about something that I am really excited about that I read last night that I think is going to really inspire and encourage you today. And I'm going to make this quick because we've got the Thunderbirds coming in a half an hour, which is really cool. So we're going to head outside and wait for them to fly overhead. So I am reading a book that my dear friend Tracy recommended. We share a lot of recommendations. Dr. Wayne Dyer, a lot of you might know who he is. And it's all around the power of intention. So... I talked last week about making sure that we hang on to our vision, making sure that we're still looking ahead to our future despite the current circumstances. And so I wanted to read this book because I love Wayne Dyer. I think he's amazing. And I, I just thought it would be a good time to really get focused on my own intention. And so he, in the very beginning, talks about the seven faces of intention. And it's really, really cool, his different um, faces of intention. But one of them, and this isn't, I'm not talking about what you think I might be talking about, um, by the way. So the second face, the first one is the face of creativity, but the second face is the face of kindness. And I'm going to read to you what he wrote here because this like blew me away. This really, really blew me away. So he talks about the positive effect, and this is why I titled my live what I did, um, he talks about the positive effect of kindness on the immune system and the increased production of serotonin in the brain has been proven in research studies. And I can get those studies for you if you're not a believer. But when someone puts something in a book and they've got a doctor, I mean, he's passed away now, but when he published this book, it was, you know, you've got some stuff to lose if you just throw around the word research. So what he talked about is that, um, so I'm going to read you this little paragraph because I think it will give you encouragement. So he talks about serotonin being, you know, a lot of you know that it's a natural occurring um, hormone that we need to have to elevate our mood and make us happy. And, you know, you want to have good serotonin levels and that's what a lot of antidepressants do. Well, that's what they all do is they increase your serotonin levels so that you can get to a good baseline. So he writes, research has shown that a simple act of kindness directed towards another improves the functioning of the immune system and stimulates the production of serotonin, both in the recipient of the kindness and the person extending the kindness. Even more amazing, I thought this was amazing, even more amazing is that person's observing. So you could just be like a total random stranger observing an act of kindness have similar beneficiary results. So I just, I this really, really resonated with me, this whole idea of being kind. We talk a lot about it, I think, and you know, my, my best friend in the world, Ellen, I mean, who doesn't love Ellen, talks about being kind. That's how she signs off all, you know, every single one of her shows. But right now, I feel like we need a dose of kindness. I feel um, an energy around society right now that there's a lot of divisive, you know, all of that. I'm not going to get into it, but um, I just do feel that we need to kind of turn up the kindness dial. And I know so many people are doing so many amazing, extraordinary things. They're bringing food to healthcare workers. They're making masks. I mean, I know friends that are sewing night and day. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. But I, I want to take it a step further. And so I have a coach who's amazing, my coach Ray Higdon, and he teaches his community about doing random acts of kindness for strangers. And he does this every single Wednesday. It's a whole movement that he is creating about doing a random act of kindness. Hi, Kathy. Can't wait to see you next week. Um, so every Wednesday, he encourages people to do a random act of kindness for a stranger, and he wants you to have it involve a financial exchange. So don't bake a pie or bring cookies, but like purchase something for, and it can be as small as like a $5 coffee. And, um, and he wants to help people get better with their money mindset and think more abundantly, which I think is really important. He coaches business. So that's really important in business or really anything. So hi, Lise. Oh, I miss you. Um, so this intention 
getting back to the book of intention of doing something kind for a random stranger once a week has really gotten into my like like my psyche and I I do it. I don't do it every week, but I do it most weeks and if I don't do it Wednesday, it's like I I intentionally try to go out of my way to do a ra- random act of kindness for a stranger, you know, once a week. So I will encourage you to try that. And I know a lot of people do. I hear about Starbucks lines, like people buying a coffee for the behind. It's like this chain of people. Um, But know that when you do that, you're strengthening your immune system. The person behind you is strengthening their immune system. The people watching are getting a stronger immune system. And that is awesome. And I know that right now our time out and about is very limited, so we can't necessarily do it in person. I've been ordering, um, this is just what I've been doing. Um, I've been doing, there's a there's a farm near me, the Ecology Center, and they do boxes, like, like boxes of veggies, and you can donate a box. So I've been trying to donate a box every week. I haven't every week, but I have a lot of weeks. Um, and that just feels good to me because I want people to be healthy. And so if I'm going to donate food, it's going to be healthy food. So I hope that this encourages you today. This is, his book is Dr. Wayne Dyer, if you missed the beginning. And I'm talking all about the power of intention and the face of kindness and how being kind um, truly does improve your immune system. It's proven scientifically and helps you in all areas of your health. And by the way, if you want to focus on your health with us next week um, in my community, in my Shift Earner Circle community, we're doing a seven-day reset, focusing on all the important things that are going to help you be healthier, water, movement, nutrition, mindset, Um, gratitude, just some really core essential things. And just from connecting with so many people throughout the week, I think people are looking for something like this right now. So please reach out to me if you'd like to learn more about that. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend full of kindness. Thinking of you and miss a lot of you that I don't get to see in person. I really do miss you. So have a great weekend.